Hello everyone, welcome back to Tears Day here on All Things Futhark. I'm your host Eric. This week we are talking about Isa. So Isa, which is this rune here, um, Isa is just the straight up and down line. Isa is ice. Uh, it is also stagnation, lack of movement. It is the inability to progress. Uh, a lot of times Isa can be caused by Nathus, which is, you know, constraint or obstacles in your way. So, in a reading, when Isa comes up, Isa is talking about not being able to progress because of something that is either imminent or not ready yet or something along those lines. It's, it's more or less a matter of stagnation, being halted in your progress, not being able to move forward. Uh, what that means is that something needs to be addressed. Obviously, that's going to be interpreted throughout the course of the reading as to what that should be or what that is, or if the person you're reading for knows what that is already, they'll more than likely let you know that they know what it is. Um, you can ask them if they know what it is, obviously, because, you know, you, you can talk to them most of the time. Anyway, um, when Isa comes up as a personal challenge, if it is what you are supposed to do, what that means, it is a time for you to stop and not act on what you want to do, because it's a time of planning, a time of waiting, a time of uh, non-progress, but it's okay to plan during that time. It's okay to um, look for, look to the future and see what you want, or see if you're still on the path that you initially had intended. Things of that nature, things like, you know, is this really where I want to continue to go? Am I on the path still that I intended myself to be? So, Isa is a good time for planning, bad time for acting. So... Isa, in, in that way as well, is a lack of movement. If Isa is an outcome, it can go either way as to whether or not it's a good thing or a bad thing. I would then refer to the runes around it, or directly under, or whatever, uh, that are leading you into Isa. If it looks like a good thing, it means you're going to come to a time to reflect and be able to understand things a little bit better uh, about the future. If it turns out to be a negative thing, it means you will not be able to continue to progress through your, your chosen path or your chosen endeavor until your personal challenge is met, and at that point you have to, you, you will come into a time of more planning, in which case the person reading for you will more than likely have to come back to you to find out what to do next if they don't know already. They should know already, because that's their time of planning. Anyhow, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about Isa in a reading, feel free to comment in the section below. Hit that like bat button. I always like to see it when uh, that happens. One more thing before I go, however. Um, Val messaged me and said that things are getting a little bit insane for her. She is getting married next year. Congratulations, so, Val. I am going to take auditions for All Things Futhark. If you would like to be a member of All Things Futhark and join in our in our channel here. Um, if that is the case, feel free to make a video response to this or any of the other videos in our series. Or uh, make a video and send it to me personally at my uh, Lurch579 channel. Um, I'll be looking for those. If anybody wants to join All Things Futhark, feel free to let me know. Um, thanks everybody for watching, and of course, until next time, Odin be with you.